Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Nicole from LiveX and today I'm going to walk you through how to bring growing files from vMix into Premiere Pro for editing. We're running vMix on a production bot that's on the same local network as our Synology DisStation NAS, which we use for media storage and file transfers. As you can see, I have four camera inputs on this vMix session. You can use this for multi-cams or just like a single cam edit. To start, we're going to go to the multi-cord feature down here at the bottom and click on the settings cogwheel. Then you want to make sure you're on FFmpeg and then for codec, you want VC3, format, you want MXF. Video quality, it can be whatever that matches your source. So right now I have it set to 45, 1080, 2997P. And then audio quality, you want PCM. Then you can select all your outputs that you need. So I have this configured already. So output one is my camera one and so on and so forth. And then you need to select your recording folder. So here I'm clicking into this folder on our NAS. I have it set up to go to demo and then records. Then once you're ready to go, click start. And now I'm on my editing computer. And in order to get this to work, you need to have NDI tools installed on your machine. Then once you're in Premiere, go to edit, preferences, media, and you want to make sure under the growing file section, you have automatically refresh growing files enabled, and then you can um, adjust the refresh time to whatever you need. I usually like it to have it as low as possible. So that would be 10 seconds. And then once you're done, press okay. And now I'm going to go to my NAS. And as you can see, I'm in my demo folder already, go into your records. And these are all my outputs from that vMix machine. So I'm going to select the first one, which will be my camera one and drag it into Premiere. And then I'm going to bring this over to my timeline. Give it a few seconds. So now if I highlight it and go to expand it, you can see that it's growing. And then from here, you can bring in all the other outputs. You can just start working on your trims. You can make this a multi-cam sequence. And if you're not editing right away, you can skip the importing to Premiere step and just let your records go straight to the NAS, saving you time after your show's done. And that's it. This workflow gets you your footage into Premiere quickly and eliminates the need for post-show transfers and keeps your projects moving more efficiently. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and check out our other videos on live production. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.